明しましたのでこれから実際に今私がどのようなことを考えているかということを詳しくお伝えします。Uh, so, the first of these is、um, I'm coining some new terms when I think about the relationship between modes of musical creation.、Uh, what I've set up here, the title of this slide, Mind, so I'm thinking about how we think about、um, improvisation, composition, but I'm making、uh, new words by putting these words, they're mashed up together.、Um, it's like the word brunch, right? Breakfast and lunch, it's a portmanteau. えー、ここにあのスライドを出していますそのマインドその血の部分で、えー、そのコンポジションとインプロビゼーションという二つの言葉を、えー、まあコンセートポートバンドってこうあの、えー、日本語でブランチってよく使われてますけどブレックバスのランチを合わせたものそういうその二つの言葉を一緒にして一つの意味を持つ言葉を作ることを私はここで見ましたここでコンプロビゼーションインプロポーズインプロポーズミュージックという言葉を Right, so compro- compromisation and improvised music.、Uh, saying that I think these, these things are the same, they're, they're part of each other、uh, in lots of really complicated ways. So, what is the relationship between modes of musical creation? Is where I would, how I would describe this.、Um, Bruno Nettel was really very early. To start thinking about this. In 1974,、uh, he said in an article titled Thoughts on Improvisation, he said, The conclusion that recurs again and again in our thoughts is that all performers improvise to some extent. What the pianist playing Bach and Beethoven does with his models, the scores, and accumulated tradition of performance practice is only in degree and not in nature. Different from what the Indian playing an alap in Rag Yaman and the Persian singing the Dastga of Shur do with theirs. えー、と即興に「ソンソンインプロビゼーション」という、えー、著書の中で1974年に、えー、このように書いてますここに引用されていますけれども、えー、繰り返しその訪れるその結果として、えー、もう全ての演奏家はある程度その必ず即興するでそれは度合いがもちろん違いますけれども例えばバッハとかベートーベンを弾くピアニストも、えー、自分流にそれをもちろん楽譜と自分の、えー、伝,統伝統的な練習に基づいた、えー、積み重ねをもとに弾きますけれどもやはりそれは自分流に弾いているですからそこに少しだけやはり即興的な要素も入っているし、えー、もちろんそれとは違いますけれども、えー、インド人が、えー、例えばそのラーガの前に歌うアーラープで、えー、即興したりとか、えー、ペルシャ人がラストガーでそのシュールのラストガーで即興を歌うとかっていうそういうことも、えー、全ての演奏家はやはり即興しているということをメトルはここで言っているわけです。Uh, Nettle's model was what I think of as a continuum, and I want to move from that continuum to something else, to what I call a dialectic.、Um, his idea was that essentially、um, what makes all of these different things part of the same thing is that、uh, everyone in performance makes decisions.、Uh, but, and I'm, I'm going to draw another thing on the board here.、Um, Essentially, he had the idea that there are models that are pre composed or pre existent, and then there's performance、uh, in which those models are, are realized or are brought into being.、Uh, okay, let me. Yes. Next, the Nettle was saying that he was going to be able to do that, and he was going to be able to do that, and he was going to be able to do that, and he was going to be able to do that, and he was going to be able to do that, and he was going to be able to do that. Um, so, the model would look something like this. 
方法ですね、モデルはどのようにどのような感じかというと、This is what he calls, actually, he calls it models. ビトルはこれをモデルと呼んでいますが、Whatever it is, it's the thing that you know about in advance, whether that's a piece of music like The score for Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, or it's、uh, a mode like in、uh, a rag in India. And some models determine a lot and are very fixed,、um, like the symphony score, and some determine very little and are not very fixed. Um, but in performance, Um, musicians fall, everybody falls on this continuum, whether it's the symphony musician over here who's not changing very many things but is making some small decisions in performance, or it's the free jazz musician over here who is really making almost everything up in the moment. I'll label this performance. The thing about this way of looking at it is, as you can see on the chalkboard here,、uh, these two things remain very separate composition, improvisation. What I would suggest is something、uh, actually simpler to draw but maybe more complex to think about. Um, and that's a dialectic,、uh, a model where, in fact, uh, there's um, a kind of constant feedback between two things.、Um, These probably aren't the right words for this. I'm still trying to think about exactly how to conceptualize this. But what I say here is production of form and practice of freedom.、Um, that these things are always making each other happen.、Uh, so, to some degree, this is where composition would have been, and this is where performance or improvisation would have been.、Uh, but my idea is that actually what we have is a continual circle、uh, in which it's Ultimately, I think actually、uh, maybe even more one single thing、uh, that's happening, but in, in, in what I call a constant sort of feedback. The mega production of, of form, it's a case of the production form. The,、uh, A、practice of freedom.、Uh, my idea.